Good morning, good morning. It's great to stay out late. Was that his first intro? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. He's not thrilled about what you're saying. <laughs> We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog and have a fresh baby. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. How you feeling? Um, feeling good. I'm excited to have coffee in me. That, that just arrived. Yeah. Um, we got a little shut eye. He got a vaccine last night, a bath last night. We're still protecting. We know you to, really want to see him. We're still protecting to be discharged. It's probably early afternoon. Oh goodness. We're doing good. I just gotta show you our food. We got French toast for breakfast, blueberry muffin, bacon, there's Peter's coffee. Ice. You got ice cream? <laughs> we need to get some ice cream, Peter says. Um, fruit, and this Shasta Cola, which I've been loving. All right, Sarah saw that Bluey should be playing, so she's gonna put that on. And then you're gonna take a shower to feel even more human. I think this you've felt incredibly human this whole yeah. time because the birth went so well. But like it does it's a whole different level to hop in the shower and like get refreshed. Right. And change my clothes. And be comfy. Good. Yeah, that'll be good. It'll be good timing between his next feed and hopefully potentially like starting to get evaluated to yes. start. You and him. Alright. Can we skip to the good <laughs> Sarah and I are getting cabin fever. Sarah and I both took showers and got in fresh clothes. The pediatrician came to check him out, gave him okay to get circumcised. Um, the pediatrician also was like, hey, FYI, when we run the labs, like there's a there's like three major tests. They do a jaundice screening, a heart um, screening, and a PKU newborn, newborn screen at 24 hours, and that's like the last thing you do before they like, are like, hey, you can go. They've always given us the option to stay an additional day, but like, if you wanted to, and these screenings go well, you can go at 24 hours. But we just like, didn't think about like, what those screenings mean, because the teacher was like, well, did your firstborn have any like, issues with jaundice? And James did have difficulty at first with jaundice, and she's like, okay, well, if the jaundice score is too high, like, we're gonna ask you to stay an additional night. So we were like, Phew. Ooh, but we got home to Eve and James and everything. So like now we're like kind of like slightly anxious about um, that happening. But we're 40 minutes away from them. Hopefully taking him to do those tests and hopefully. And we're 10 minutes away from ordering lunch. <laughs> As Sarah pointed out, we're 10 minutes away from ordering lunch. <laughs> um, we should order. We could get the food. Yeah. You yeah. know, like outside of this place. Yeah. Yeah. James is doing good. James is doing good. Jamesy, what are you having for lunch, bud? <laughs> you got avocado? Oh. Ooh. You hear Elsa? How you doing, Eve? Oh, wow, here is our lunch. We have a chicken salad sandwich with melted cheese. Hey, should be interesting. It's already cut in half for us to share it. I also got chocolate ice cream. I don't know why I, I vlog this like we're out to eat at a restaurant, but 
Food's important. What's in here? I forget. Mac and cheese. Teddy was taken to have his um, procedure and some testing. And so he's not here for 30 minutes. So we're gonna eat and then we'll know a little bit more when he gets back. We have ridiculousness on one of my um, pleasures. pleasures. All right, Teddy is back with us after a battery of tests. They're poking and prodding and taking blood and squeezing them and. That's fun. I mean, he's been alive like a little over 24 hours. Like, you can go from cozy womb to constant poking and prodding by now. They said he's gonna be tired. Yeah. We're gonna try to nurse a little bit more. When they t they did the skin test for the Billy Root or jaundice. jaundice. Um, we came back a little bit high, so they did a blood version, and we'll know soon. And that's kind of like the, that's indicative of if, if we're going to be here another night or not. It's alright. Yeah. Got to do what's best for this little squibby squib. So sweet. He is so sweet. He looks so much like himself. Back in the car. I have to go bring it around to the women's hospital side and bring the car seat up, but I brought most of our bags. Sarah's hanging out with James. Ooh, it's gonna happen a lot. Sarah's hanging out with Teddy. Um, we just finished most of our discharge paperwork. We have to get like the security sensors taken off me, Sarah, and Teddy. Um, and they want us to bring the car seat up, which I assume is like where they'll do the inspection. I don't know if they did an inspection. Like Winnie Palmer in Florida did a really cool like car seat inspection, not just, not just the baby in the car seat, but how the car seat was installed in the car. So. I don't know, we'll, we'll see here, but time to go home, it's 3.30. Okay, we got good news. So his bilirubin levels are a little bit elevated. They were gonna have us stay, but they said if we could see our, our pediatrician tomorrow, that they would let us go home tonight. So we're going to go home. The difference is like we would be checking the levels here in the morning or at the pediatrician in the morning and we would eventually be going into the care of our pediatrician anyway so um we're gonna keep on feeding him like every two hours to make sure it just works its way out through its sis his system he's very very tired after um his big day so we're gonna supplement if we need to and just take it an hour at a time so peter went to go get the car i'm gonna get us both changed we're gonna take a couple pictures um, and then we're gonna go home. And Teddy and Jamesy and Evie <laughs> get to meet. We are excited, to say the least. Lucy left. Now it's just the Brookhart family. Teddy's resting. He's already taken one bit to eat. James is right there watching Bluey. And he's about to get his new big brother gift.
Yay! That's from your little brother. You gotta learn lessons from big sister. Yeah. Should I open it? Yes, please. Gapoli. Beep beep. Look. This might be the first time Teddy is seeing Jamesy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So fascinated. Oh goodness. He's trying to go over there. Okay. First, first bedtime routine with the two squibs. Wish us luck. There's our sweet baby on his first night at home. We don't know if this one will be the winner. It took a while for us to find the one stained light. Yeah. So. Because every baby's different. Hi, sweet baby. Hi. So he's got a doctor's appointment at 11.45 in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, he's looking a little bit more yellow. So. He's looking more jaundicey, which is kind of what we anticipated with how me and Sarah were as kids, how James was as a newborn, so and how his numbers were looking already. But that's why you go to the doctor. We're pretty tired. I'm pretty exhausted. I don't know if I like this swaddle or not. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> we'll figure out. We'll figure out. Look how tired we look. Um, we know it's going to be a long couple nights with like him feeding every few hours. Yeah. Um, but that's the name of the game. Gotta say, like, we're excited. Mm -hmm. We couldn't be happier, but we, you know, there are moments of being overwhelmed, so we always try to be as transparent with you guys. Mm -hmm. And, like, having now two little ones, like, wanting to play with James, making sure he's getting played with, mm -hmm. but making sure that Teddy's safe and also being taken care of and played with. Like, yeah. it's gonna we're just be an, our time, yeah. Yeah, an adjustment. Yeah. But a great adjustment. Incredible to be home with two <laughs> babies. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.